I am loving Euphoria Season 2, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's better than the first one. And the first one was a high bar in general. Right, for Ta- sure. Talking about some real shit on that show. Oh, yeah. Drug abuse, sexual assault, uh, pedophilia, gang violence. You know, it's just everything that I feel like I witness and see a lot in high school that, you know, a lot of us just don't talk about publicly. But at the same time, it does still seem like it's in a different universe because, yes, similar things happened in high school. These young motherfuckers is turning them shits up to the max. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot relate to some of that stuff that they doing. I can relate, but I can't. You yeah. know, it's a weird thing. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. yeah it's pretty wild. They're on Red Bull compared to us. <laughs> People are asking... Are they going a little too far with this this show, this real graphic, in your face type show, uh, starring Zendaya, 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 Zendaya. Zendaya. That's right. So, who is bringing into the conversation? And I and it's Dare. Shout out to everybody that took Dare in high or uh, elementary school. God dang. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that had to take that mandatory class. And and shame on all you guys for letting that lion down. Dare has made a statement. Dare says HBO's Euphoria glamorizes drug use, sex, and violence. So far, are they wrong? <laughs> yeah. They are wrong. Now, I can understand where they're coming from, saying that uh, it is the way they're shooting it, it does come across cool. Like, yeah. these are the cool kids, and these shots are amazing. Whoever's, you know, oh, doing yeah. the cinematography, oh, it, it does look great. But if you really paying attention, it's deep, it's dark, it's not it's something that you, you want to like be a the part of. Bad stuff about it. Yeah. Exactly. It's like they're polishing a turd. Yeah. Honestly, um, but I I could see why they're saying that cinem- cinem- cinematically. Mm. But uh, what are your thoughts on this though? I feel like they're probably saying it just because it's become so popular. Mm. And like, okay, cool. Like, okay, if all these people are like it, then that means i guess that it's become like a glamorous thing but to me it, it's really not that i feel like just people are becoming more and more aware yeah of the world that they live in and they appreciate seeing something that's actually representative of life and yeah, things that are really happening so this isn't your mother's after school special this yeah. is like some real shit that kids are going through yeah very yeah very often we so really don't i think when it when it does come around everyone's like okay i can i can get with this and the shock value is to start these conversations not to promote i feel mm-hmm. um i mean not everybody's on the same level some might you know take it that way but i think majority yeah. of people are understanding like especially the decisions that that Rue makes, Mm -hmm. I think that they're understanding like, okay, this isn't going to go well if I chose to do the things that these guys were doing. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of like the same conversation that they were trying to have with um, 13 Reasons Why, which you didn't watch, but... The show about suicide, right? And so they were basically saying that they were glamorizing suicide and, um, you know, like self-harm and things like that. Which, I mean, I don't agree with all the things that they, the ways that they necessarily went about, like, portraying things. But at the end of the day, I think that they were doing it with good intentions. And that it really was, just like you said, about starting up a conversation. And it was something that they specifically wanted teens to be able to watch with, like, parents. So that way they're able to have this conversation. Mm. And find a way to connect to their kids because parents are so detached yes. from that What's going that on. world, yeah, and yeah. and it, it's hard to find that connection. Yeah. And it's really important to have that that connection and conversation between parent and child. It's kind of important that parents are in this conversation because, like, as I was saying from my point of view when I was younger, yes, stuff like this was going on, but like it wasn't to this max. I'd be a fool, and I feel like you would be a fool as well, if we were not tuned into how bad drug abuse has gotten for these kids. Mm-hmm. Like, I would be doing, we would both be doing disfavor for my son. Yeah. If we weren't in tune to like, oh, there's a huge o- opioid epidemic going on, you know, it just, there's a rise and everything, you know, sexual abuse, all this stuff. It's there. We can't ignore it and put like yeah. a sensor sign on it, because... At the end of the day, my son is going to go into the real world one day without our hands. 
And he's going to be. He's going to have to figure this, out how to. This is going to be front him. row seats of this shit. Yeah, yeah, it's not for kids. Kids are going to want to watch it anyway. Of They're going to figure their ways out. We used to be kids, we know. But she's letting it. No, she's not promoting this. In fact, I'm telling you not to do this. This is for mature audiences to watch that can handle this. If you can't handle drug abuse, if you can't ha- handle sexual abuse, all this stuff. And even if you turn are away. a part of the mature audience and you can't handle that, still don't watch it. Yeah, for sure. Like, I, this was, I think, I think this was in the first, when the first season was, like, airing. Mm-hmm. And just, like, in a conversation with friends, um, <clears throat> someone was like, oh, like, I just, I can't deal with that, like, right now. And so, like, they didn't watch it. I mean, I'm sure they went back and watched it later. Yeah. But at that time, they were like, no, I just, I, you know. Yeah. I, I'm i not where I need to be to be able to mm-hmm. intake content like that. Oh, yeah. Because it, it's a very specific type of content. It gets real. People um, will probably have PTSD and flashbacks if they had, like, you know, bad experiences with these lanes that, mm-hmm, that they go through mm-hmm. or they're talking about. Um, but, yeah. Um, so we, are we disagreeing with, uh, Dare about this? Now, I, I feel like Dare actually means well with this. I think that, you know, they, I can kind of understand what they're saying from an entertainment point of view, but at the same time, I feel like it's the same argument, like, people use about video games. It's going to inspire violence. It's going to inspire ruckus. Hip-hop, it's going to inspire, you know, all this stuff. At the end of the day, it's art. Maturity. Know your limits. Know what. Know that this is not real. This is yeah. not reality. This is for your entertainment and, and for a discussion. Part, I think if people are gonna do it, they're gonna do it, mm-hmm. and it's not because they saw it on a TV show. Not because MJ from you know Spider Man movies is snorting coke in a laundry bag. I mean, bed. I'm sure that there's some people out there. You know, there's always those exceptions. There's yeah. always those people that go out and do something because mm-hmm. they saw it on yeah. something else. But, you know, that that really doesn't apply to the general yeah. public and, like, most people. So I think, like, you know, if you're going to do drugs, you're going to go do drugs, whether euphoria exists or not, whether you watch it or not. Yeah, it's some personal stuff going on in your life. Yeah. To me, honestly, it's it's actually a lot of the stuff that they get into actually turns me off of it. It is so much anxiety in watching the show. It's just mm-hmm. like, man, I do not want to be in any of those predicaments. Yeah, I mean, especially, like, like, I still come back to this scene where she was at Fez's mm-hmm. and that drug dealer, kingpin guy, whatever he was, was there. And, like, she had taken the fentanyl. She was just, yep. like, out. Shoved her in the and back. And, <laughs> like... What? There's nothing fun about that. Oh, you're talking about oh, the first season. I'm talking about the first season oh, yeah, that when was, he was about to, yeah. like, mess with her. Oh, yeah. And she's like, why would you want to potentially put yourself in some sort of situation like that? But also what you were talking about where he, oh, like, yeah. took her, like... Make in sure the back sure. like you have no i mean at that point you don't know what what's yeah. gonna happen he could have done anything to her exactly at that point and no one could have done anything about it because everyone was at gunpoint yeah there i'll pass on that i'll still watch because i can understand <laughs> so, that it's it's not real <laughs> but i don't know i think it's also nice that i don't know if you're not in that world like you mm-hmm. don't understand and you don't know the things that people who are addicted to substances go through necessarily or the ways that they are feeling about it or or why it's so difficult for them to Mm -hmm. get away from it yeah and this is i think a good way for people to try to understand and empathize with people who are in that situation because you know it's perfect you you run into people all the time that are like why can't you they know, just stop? Yeah, and why no. can't they stop? Or, or you know, oh, they're so selfish. Or, yeah. you know, a, or like a homeless person or something like, oh, he's an alcoholic. He's or, not even you know, trying and it, stuff like It's shit. just like, you know, like it's not fair yeah. to depict like these dumb ideas onto people because it's not always that simple. And yeah. I think this show does a good way, yeah. does a good job at, at showing that it's Absolutely. really not all that simple and there's a lot of things with a lot of people mm-hmm. going on and there's reasons why things happen yeah and it ended though i did want to say like zendaya does a great job like oh, she's showing, phenomenal showing you like how she reprograms her mind to justify the stupidity that she does you know and that's i feel like that's the real thing of an addict and know? she's not the only one either like a lot of them in this show mm-hmm 
not not even with drugs, but like in relationships and yep. stuff like Toxicity, that. Toxicity, yeah. Like they're just like, oh, like you know, like Maddie's like, oh, I know that like this sucked when I was with him, but I will still want to be with him know. because now I'm alone. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, it, it, it's a it's a mind fuck. Like yeah, f- in a, many many ways, and people do actually deal with that all the time. We talk in confusion, but I think this show does a good job trying its best to explain the other side of the other point of view. How and, people uh, end up where they are. Exactly. Yeah. You know, the ba- the backstory is important. Absolutely, absolutely. We all start at one spot, and we all branch in different areas. Yeah. All right, well, what do you guys think? Do you agree with Dare? Do you think that they are glamorizing drug use, sex, and violence? Or do you think it's all entertainment and that you should understand, you know, the line and understand the message? You know, just try to try to see what's going on with it. Um, but, yeah, do you? what do you fall on there? What side do you think? Um, but, yeah. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Help keep a brother off the streets. Much love, peace, and chicken grease.